Yeah. Perm had been vassalized by Kazan. Religion has been forced, and they are a sheikdom. They are a monastic order. The monastic order of Perm. Uh, I want to leave you with that, and I want to vassalize you. So that I can then, in the future, ask Muscovy for all of this. And also reconquest against Kazan and Nogai a little bit. Now he's going to hate us. He is going to hate us with a fiery, burning passion. How many claims do you have in them? Yeah, I don't care about those claims. I'd rather make Muscovy like me more by forcing him to give up the claims in Muscovy. Done. So this and this is mine. He immediately says, I'm disloyal. I hate you so much. But we've got a reasonably long truce <sighs> to recover that situation. We were going to ask this province back from Muscovy. Hopefully that doesn't start triggering him to think that his land is disconnected. Good. Then I can integrate this boy for myself. And we watch as our Diplo points fly out the window. So we're integrating three people. Come on over. I'm kind of lucky that that fort's still on. Turn that one off. Stop training. Come home with those. Mm, probably should wait for the other units. The ones that actually have some morale. Okay, there we go. Growth of the printing press. Full front rows, please. No, no escaping. Dying. Goodbye. Thank you. Fix that. Come back home. And then work out what we want to do by way of training. I need to give the Polish there... I was going to say their autonomy, but they hate me so much that there's no point in doing that. Yes, we'll gain the dip points. That almost gives us enough to pay down some inflation. You can go... Or actually, you can go there. You can go there. You can turn off this fort. Oh. No? What's what's making all the honking, then? Oh, it must have been these ones. Yeah, 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 it was these ones. <clears throat> I was surprised. I'm like, why are these finishing faster than the Polish one? But it wasn't. It was these ones finishing. Lithuania is declared unworthy. I guess I wait a month, because he still enemies me. Um, the Ottomans is possibly the most reasonable. Who hates the Ottomans? France? I could use a friendship with France. The thing is, that also encourages the Ottomans to counter-rival me. Until we start hitting the, uh, 50 PP, I think we can avoid making a decision. So instead we'll go do some conversions. Continue the training. Continue the training. 
Maybe turn that off entirely. And look at our truce times. Poland is in eight years. Are you going to finish before then? You say yes, but you have to remember that it's going to slow down when Mazovia finishes. And I could... I was going to say possibly yoink plonk, but they haven't moved their capital to Warsaw. You need to go get ready for the Polish Separatists. And we will start the boring job of improving with the new minion. There were some workshops that were very valuable. Our ancestors are watching. I don't remember anything about my grandfather. <laughs> yep, we're still ahead enough on time that I'm willing to work our way to Deus Vault. It will also unlock another combination of our policies. Weren't quite quick enough on sending these over, but whatever. Uh, Grey Flame, the answer is mostly no, not strictly no. You could form Texas or Zealandia or Brazil, but you can't form Afro-Eurasian tags. Okay, and then you come and deal with that. Yes, you could have a Texan Gothic invasion. If you formed Texas, what it does is it releases all your European land as a subject. Or as a PU nation, I forget. For Brazil, it's a PU over Portugal. I don't know if Texas just releases them as a vassal, I forget. But it would release them, and then you could vassalize them if they weren't already one, and feed them all of Germany, and that would count. That would count for the achievement. A Texas Gothic invasion. It would be a lot of work. <laughs> it would be a lot of extra work. But it is technically, technically correct. The best kind of correct. Baby is coming to power. We have an average-ish air, but I don't have the capacity to throw away airs in terms of prestige at the moment, so we wait. Mazovia will not become critically disloyal if I do this, so that's fine. I'll have the prestige. Also, our leader died while they were walking over here. Oops. Oh well. I should have paid more attention. Wait, what? What? Oh. You're back. How are you back? Well, however you're back, you're back. I assumed you died. Good for you. If you eat up enough of no guy, I can maybe vassalize them again. I'm running out of cash. Yeah, we're getting a bit close. 
Once these missionaries finish, our economy will recover. A lot of it is... Uh, I can also turn off our army maintenance now that we've defeated the rebels. A lot of the money is in the missionary maintenance. Five ducats. Yeah, 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 they can. If they own the right provinces, they can. But I thought they died, so I'm just trying to work out which person did it. It looks... It doesn't look like it's Transoxiania, because Transoxiania still have their cores. And if you form someone... Your cores, like... If you're Poland, and you form the PLC, you don't have Polish cores on Polish land. That all just becomes pure Commonwealth. So it doesn't look like it was Transoxiania. The fact that there are Khorasan cores also suggests that it's not Khorasan. Maybe Afghanistan? Maybe Afghanistan. I suppose we could look at the culture. Uzbek? Maybe Uzbekistan? No. Because Uzbek is over here still. So no, I don't know. I don't know what did it. Something did it. Yeah, that's what I looked at. I looked at what their, uh, their king culture is. Their king culture is Uzbek. Hmm? Their primary culture is Uzbek. It's part of forming the Timurids that it culture swaps you. I'm pretty sure. I suppose I could check that. EU4 Timurids. No, no, I want the reforming the Timurids, thank you. No, if you reform it, it doesn't. You have to use... Not, neither of the two forming things look like it changes your primary culture. Eh, I don't know then. Whatever. They must have had Uzbek as their primary culture for other reasons. We can go back to sucking up to you again. Because we want to feed back all the Great Horde provinces. <clears throat> How long do you take now that we did the other integration? Still not long enough. That's really going to suck. I would have liked to get these back with Reconquest. But oh well. Uh, now that this has been integrated, we can full state it. Full core it. Bring these over to the others. Goodbye, Smolensk. You are good Russian clay. Nice sister culture. Correct religion land. <clears throat> Dev cost down. We would like the absolutism one. In fact, I should maybe be starting to think about revoking some of these. We can yoink the land. And then what do we do with our spare diplomat? Hmm. I guess I can up with you. So that one day we can integrate you. Yeah, that looks sensible enough. Uh, we are neither Gothic, nor do I think we have the of Gothic dynasty. We are a Rikovic, so that we can one day maybe force a PU over Muscovy. Like now, when they have a weak claim. <laughs> uh, 
If if we could beat them in a fight, which I I can't really do yet. I need to get a bit bigger. Once I've got a bit more of this under me, I might accept trying to force that PU. And you know, once I don't have debt to pay off and whatnot. Honk, 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 and then the missionaries finish as well. Steal this dev. I should steal your dev as well while I'm at it. But I can't. Honk, 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 honk. The missionary is complete. Now we've got actually some quick ones to do. Nice and easy ones. What was that? AQ is preparing to attack. QQ. This could be our Q to attack QQ. Wow. What did you do to do that? Well, as long as you don't attack me. Oh, God. So he stopped rivaling Hungary. And he's rivaled me instead. That's a bit terrifying. That's quite terrifying. Uh, so about those alliances, Hungary and France... Especially because, uh, at the moment, not Provence, especially because at the moment Russia are still probably horrendously in debt and won't honour. Which we should maybe look at, but we're his only friend, so I can't look at. I can look at it if I pretend to declare war. Mm, he's paid off a quarter of his debt. So did you call in... You didn't call in the Ottomans. I suspect that QQ might win that then. Yeah, QQ should win that. At least as it stands. Maybe I should nibble away at these three of QQ while that's going on. So, uh, if you could walk there, if you could walk there, if you could turn on this fort, if you could turn on this fort, we could turn on our morale. Some more inherited units. Thankfully, he doesn't have any claims on me yet. Smush. Something like that looks very good. Lightning strike. We've got half of what we want already. Is this province? Hell, we can even get there to fight the rebels in time. Oh, 
I don't care if he has pretenders. What does that... What? How does that hurt me? How does him having rebels... Pretender rebels hurt me? Roll another leader. Put them there. Once those are there, fight. And then we'll take this new siege leader to the siege. That was disturbingly close. Now look, I don't want a lot. I just want to feed my guy some more provinces. He has a couple of claims. Why shouldn't he have them? One of them's even the right, right religion. And the right culture. So I'm willing to let you out. Yet you say no. If you make me seed you down, I'm not going to be a happy guy. I can include subject stuff and do some of his stuff for him. He's Coptic. Why Coptic, you ask? <clears throat> because it gives him extra defense on these forts. And it was in the early game, it was so helpful that this mountain fort, which defended our entrance this way, was Coptic. Slowing down all the enemy's sieges. It was lovely. He can stay Coptic. I'm probably never even going to get rid of him, honestly. He pays for these forts. It's right culture, right religion for him. He still hasn't called in the Ottomans, so I could conceivably rent out Condotto area at the end of this. So I take this, and war reps, and that'll do. I suppose I could make him give up his cause on me. And then I offer to rent out my troops to him. To help in his war. Because I want to, if I can, push AQ away from the Ottomans. Oh, they have debt bigger than two years of income. Shit! But I didn't take any money. I specifically didn't take any money for that reason. Uh... A jam. Could I perhaps beg some money out of you? Thank you. Then I can afford to get the stab up. We also now have enough prestige and development that we can become a kingdom. Which will give us an extra diplomat, which I'd quite like. Up to stab three via the event. We can afford to turn our fort off. Turn our fort off. Hello, bonus diplomat. You are very much appreciated. Re-up with Hungary. Hungary will give us a marriage. Sadly, they don't have enough units to actually, like, be a worthwhile friend. So maybe I don't get Hungary. Yeah, it's got to be France. France are already diplomatically busy. Everyone wants to be friends with France. Who's next biggest? Netherlands? Aragon? Yeah. Oh, you got free? No. Why is... Oh, Castile hasn't ejected Granada. Because Castile hasn't ejected Granada, he can't Spain. <laughs> And they're, like, hard-coded to not integrate manually. A hungry have Brittany. They were a hungry PU, and they've integrated them. Combat pillow. That's amazing. But Aragon is like... Yeah. Well, could I get Castile, then? Yes, maybe. 
He does hate France, though. I just want France. Who else can we try? Austria isn't too bad. And they're about to win the election. Yeah, I think being friends with Austria before they become the HRE boss is fine. Maybe that's the trigger that says I should go do um, Transylvania. Oh, little baby England. Little baby England. He's about to be completely eliminated. Unless he has colonies overseas. And it looks like he does. <clears throat> it looks like he does. <clears throat> As long as you, like, aren't friends with France, right? Actually, that means Hungary is a valid alliance. Because although he's not big himself, no one's going to attack him because he's friends with France. Hmm. And that would let me eat up his Transylvanian bits. Well, why not both? Um, also, I get rid of that fort. Nope, the Ottomans rivaled us. We stayed neutral to them right up until the day that they rivaled us. Most of the time they were even at 80, 80 or higher relations, but, ooh, I could rent to you. So I want to rent out the second army. Thank you. Come help wreck this guy. Oh god, when did they do that? When last I looked, the Ottomans weren't part of that war. <laughs> but they are now. Yep. Should have looked at that before I rented out my condos. When last I looked, it was just AQ against this. And I was like, they should lose! And then eight months later, you know, I'm running my war and they still haven't called them in. Yeah, you'd think Ottomans should uh, attack Kandar, wouldn't you? They say they want it. Let's run away to the furthest location that we know about. So these don't get crushed by Ottomans. France is maxed. We gained a thing on Lithuania. I could start developing my own claims on Poland. Maybe not ever. They have so many more troops than us. Look at that. 200. They haven't expanded almost at all, and there's still 200 troops. Without quantity. Without quantity. Oh, for a while there, the Mamluks were, like, actually a meaningful threat to them. There was a while when the Ottomans were down at, like, 60 troops and the Mamluks were this. But now the Ottomans have just said, I earn all the money. Trade. Trade, I earn all the money. I can afford infinite troops.
Can we yoink the land? Not yet. They want me to integrate him, and I'm about to have done that. Hmm. Do we get you? It does let us get Transylvania. But do I care that much about Transylvania? <sighs> I'm already over the relations limit. I think I need to start having real friends. <laughs> I can believe it. I can believe that that number. I can believe it. If he if he's eaten like if this wasn't an Ottomans that hadn't eaten uh Egypt and that, yeah. He'd probably be at something like seven hundred, I would guess, and if he'd taken quantity, maybe the full thousand, yep. No point doing more of that. There is point in making sure you're happy. There is point in making sure you're happy. You're supposed to train. You're going to fail your mission. Oh, actually we will legitimately fail it. Yeah, we're going to legitimately fail it at the moment. Uh... Dip rep guy is too expensive. This doesn't run out. We're going to legitimately fail. I suppose I could yoink a province or two. So, like, if I yoink Rawa and then placate. Uh, it says, in Soviet Russia, zero divides by you. It's a math joke. It's a math joke. Okay, now we're fine. Now he integrates in time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, so we're getting claims on Poland, and we're going to do Poland next, because Poland is the weak link that lets us eat Lithuania, or split Lithuania up from Denmark. And then I'm going to need my own claims on Lithuania. Have you been generating your own claims on Poland, little guy? Oh, good work. Good work. You have as well, but you're going to not exist. There's maybe something to be said for making this guy like us a bit more now that he can, in theory, call the Ottomans in against us. Or I could attack Kandar. What? How do the Ottomans get involved? How do the Ottomans get in? Oh, is he Defender of the Faith? No, you've allied them. What? He allied Kandar. But he's never going to vassalize because they have their cause. Well, I suppose the cause will run out eventually. Yeah, he's playing the long game. In a hundred years, when these cores run out, then you'll vassalize. Kandar is the diplomatic superpower of the Sunni world. I would like that innovativeness. Yep, then we can afford it. Well, then we can almost afford it. Yeah, now we can afford it.
We do have some innovativeness. Not tons. 26. Have you paid off your debt yet? <laughs> no. He's paid off no more of his debt. We might die to this Muscovy debt. Honestly. Ah! <gasps> Gimme, 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 no, what happened, oh, come on, no, he was, oh, okay, if I get a dip guy, I can do it, I mean, that's a lot of money, but it's a lot of money on something very valuable, Or I could just insult one of his rivals. Denmark, you suck. Go, go, go. Yes! Now we are defended from the Ottomans. By someone who can actually pay their debts. Uh, you... Across... Across. We care about the defensive morale pips the most. Cancel these. Huh? No, 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 I was doing the opposite. I was stopping hiring them. Apparently I wasn't. I was starting to hire them. Well, I'm an idiot. I thought I, I, they were still hired out. Uh, we've integrated the guy. That's quite nice. That gives us even more correct culture land. Who controls France? France controls France. Uh, thank you, Slow Noise. Marry you. Give you access. Then I can ignore that I don't need to suck up to you anymore. Go back to improving with the Great Horde. The Great Horde are still a bit distrustful. Teutonic Order, Polotsk and Armenia. I think those are all very sensible ones. Eventually we'll use this to get this back. Yeah, if I can get enough favours, I'm sure France will join against Denmark. That that won't count as too distant. <gasps> you want to know who's on what side? Well, it looks like it's... not triggering. Yet. But when it does trigger... Mmm... <laughs> Muscovy has joined the forces of evil, presumably because Denmark has joined the forces of good. Those are the only big boys that have declared a side so far. Long live the Theo-Franco Union. <laughs> Georgian becomes our new primary culture? No. Give you access, though. Yeah, they won't choose a war. They won't choose a side yet. AQ eats a healthy chunk out of QQ. In theory, they're vassalizable now. I converted the land to Coptic for my minion. He's still busy coring the other stuff. Uh, what month next year? January of next year. So let's look. One, two, three, four, maybe five, but four is probably going to be enough. 
Uh, thank you kindly for the follow, Death Hound. In which case, we need to get into place for that war, so... I guess you over here, split in half. You over here. Turn on... Well, our forts don't need to turn on till midway through the year. Integrated units, get rid of the horsies. These can split. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Craig Brown one for the follow. Do I want that fort? Not really, is the answer. I don't think I really want these forts. I'm a cheap bastard. And thank you, Forest Chapel, for the follow. These can come over to there. And then we're about right. When can I get rid of those condos? Because I... April. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You're not going to join the war, are you? Because you're in debt. Yeah, you are so useless. At least he's integrating Ryzan. Hmm. We have a Regency Council. Oh, God, no. No, we don't. We have a king. What? While we have a Regency Council, we cannot claim the throne. But I don't. King. Eh. It's a feature, not a bug. You could use some more love again. Uh, oh, and religious, uh, Galgamus. Quantity, Diplo, religious. We're nearly done with religious as well. So we'll get Holy War, and then we can start chomping up these guys. And possibly this stuff. Oh, we got vision spread. Uh, Ming is big. Korea is existent. Oirat absorbed Mongolia. Delhi is doing well. Jeanpour is not. There's no decisive victor here, but I'm willing to bet that Bachmanis is weaker than Vijay. Huh? Huh? Why can't I see them? They surely have more than 40 force limit. No, that's... Game. Game. You're being silly. Try again. Mm, yeah, there's Bachmanis. Okay, so VJ's twice as big as Bachmanis. There is a decisive winner here. The only reason he still exists is that VJ has shit friends and Bachmanis has Bengal. <clears throat> is that a future Transoxian vassal you see? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. He certainly has a reasonable amount of reconquest, doesn't he? Is he allied to anyone? Sistan. Is he allied to anyone? Timmy. No, it's not easy to get at. I might be able to release them from no guy. Or are they wrong culture group? I think they're wrong culture group, aren't they? Yeah, they're wrong culture group. I won't be able to be tr release Transoxiadia from there. <sighs> um. Anyway, we were getting ready for the war against Poland to split Lithuania up from Denmark. So what I should do is work on my subsequent claims against Lithuania. No CB them. No, we're not no cheesing. We are no cheesing. Uh, September is the magic month. Ring. Can we yoink? 
We can ask for a mission. Make no guy a non-tributary subject. It's trying to give me a free CB on them. No. Tempting, but no. Oh, and I can get rid of access in Brandenburg that I've ac accidentally been keeping hold of. Uh, yoink. I'd rather Holy War it, wouldn't I? Well, actually that could let me... Let's say that they do eat up the last of Transoxiania. I could absorb a province from no guy and release Transoxiania from the right culture group bit. So maybe that is worth doing. The opposite side of the coin is we're so close to finishing Holy War and we can just Holy War, Holy War, Holy War. No, it's going down naturally. It's going down naturally when we aren't overextended. We've only just got disbalanced research. I'll take that next. And we are concentrating on dip, and there's only zero more integrations at the moment, so we're we're about to be balanced again. I think Deus Vault will do fine. The religion in Astrakhan is orthodox. Or gain provinces claims on Ingle. Isn't that down here? I thought that was down here. Ingle. Oh, this thing. Yeah, no, I'm not going to war with the Ottomans. Dream on. So, the conversion one is the most reasonable. Next month was the magic month when it comes to... Let's get rid of that fort. When it comes to turning on all our maintenance. Now, if you're not going to ever join my wars, you can at least... I can't take this province, because it will give him disconnected provinces again, and he'll sh chuck a Billy Burka. But we can get these ones. So we can get one, two, three. Uh, Borigo Gensk. And then I said I'd do Astrakhan. Uh, it was April next year that I can turn them off. April next year I can turn off the condos. Okay, November. December. It definitely looks like Lithuania is going to dishonor. Yep. Only Bohemia says they'll join at the moment. Oh. Boo hiss. Now they both join. Hmm. You bastard. Oh, I'm going to protect them. Hmm. Do I still want to do that then, now that Bohemia is going to get involved? I don't think the answer is yes. How much force limit does Bohemia have? Eighty? Yeah, no. No, thank you. The war can wait till we have some more claims then. Uh, what can we do? We could go to war against Kazan to feed back some of this. Submit. I said it can't be done until April. All right? Can't be done. Gotta listen, mate. 
I said it three times. I might as well counter-rival the Ottomans if they hate me. Mm, that's no use to me at the moment. Uh, what great power number are we? We are great power number six. We're a bit behind on our tech. And Ming is artificially low at the moment because they're even further behind. Mm, do I want to do any of these then? When is our truce with QQ? Far away. No, I think we just stand down and do nothing maybe. We could also watch for when you're at war now, so that we know when to attack Kazan. Honestly, two provinces reconquest doesn't sound that great. I suppose it is three. Actually, if I declare it against no guy, then it's one, two, three, four provinces worth of reconquest. One of those is actually pretty big. 19. Yeah, we could have a look at threatening war. They might give in. <laughs> Computer says no. Mm, do I think I could beat that? I mean, the answer is probably the same as the other one. No, unless Muscovy will join. And Muscovy won't join because they're in debt. So maybe what we do is we de-ally Muscovy. He's not being useful anymore. In any case, we don't have a war to do. We should stand down all our army. We should stand down our maintenance. We can instead funnel that into paying off our corruption a little bit. Just a little bit, mind you. Until we can get something to happen. No need to rush. We've also got like half our manpower to get back, so there's there's absolutely no need to rush. And get Deus Vault done. And we've got Force Limit to fill out. Now we can cancel the condos. Make you happy. <laughs> There you go. Be a happy boy. These can come home. These can come home adjacent. There were still some more workshops to build. And then what do we do? I can't use you because Muscovy will get pissed at having disconnected land. I guess we might want to curry with France until we can call them in against Denmark. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Can we tech up and rebalance our tech? Yes, please. No more disbalanced tech penalty. It now goes down. Uh, plus one diplo relations. Yes, please. We can also almost yoink the land. What do you need me to do? You need me to convert Astrakhan. That'll be done fairly soon. No, I think it's time for peace. Pay down our corruption. Build up our army to full size. Get, get back to a reasonable amount of manpower. Group train. Maybe go up to 30 with you. Also, it's mid-1500. I should probably be swapping over to a more sensible composition than just four cannons. <laughs> four total cannons. We could also go around and lower autonomy in all the uh, integrated provinces. That would help. We're orthodox enough and happy enough that even if I lower the autonomy, they don't get grumpy. Which is absolutely lovely. Like, being able to do this and not have rebels? Oh, priceless.
We could embrace Polish. That's probably going to be worth it. Yep. Oh, thank you, Frizzco. Next claim can be anything but your capital. And then as for over here, you've been doing good work. We'll work this way. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Money isn't the best, but otherwise we're doing all right. I don't need Bohemia to like me. Yeah, money isn't the best. We just lowered autonomy, so that might help. Uh, I'm already training everything, so it doesn't really hurt to do that. And then you can go fix that for them. Although maybe not with everyone. Half should be enough. Can we beg some money out of you? And actually, does it make sense to even be friends with you anymore? I think it maybe makes sense to not be friends with a jam now. Uh, no, had Sowie. You aren't allowed to form... Well, you'd have to form Texas or something first before you formed Ruthenia. You'd have to form one of the New World Nations. You can't form any Afro-Eurasian nation before you've formed one of the New World Nations. Because otherwise you would kill the Theodoro tag, and you need that tag to still be around. Ooh, border friction. Mm, yeah, if I could... If I could get France to join that, I would. He even would. Okay, how long is your truce with them? I don't see him having a truce with Lithuania. Oh, 66. So does my CV last until 66? Yes, my truce does last till then. That's good. Uh, has France picked in the league? Yes, France has chosen the side of evil. It has France... Probably because Castile chose the other side if I was... Yeah, well, Denmark and the Ottomans. He probably did it then because of Denmark. I was going to say it's because of Castile, but it's not. It is not because of Castile. Workshop complete. Production goes 8.6 to probably full 9. Yes, a full 9. What? Oh, God. Opinion of heretics. Okay. So it becomes much harder to keep my uh, alliances now. On the other hand, that frees up a relationship slot. Let's look at the, the upside. The Great Horde still needs some more bribery. And I need a short two-minute break to use the toilet, set up the lights, and grab a drink. So, we're going to run a swift break. I should be back in a minute, and I'll have the time-lapse on as well. See you guys shortly.